I love a good uh, conspiracy. Don't you? And the War Room loves a good conspiracy. Um, and I guess any, it, we're in the age of anybody can be a rhino. And so according to Rumble, according to this, let's look at this. Trump attempted to undermine the leverage of the Heroic House 20 along with Conservative Inc. Oh yeah, Conservative Inc. The Rhino Incorporated, bitches. This, that's like, this is, this is, I don't even know if this is like popcorn worthy. This is like strategery. Oh, hi. And by the way, hi, chat room. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, it's, it's hard to read into it because it's like that, that line, that seems so fucking severe, um, that it's, it goes even beyond the kind of like, these guys are all in bed together, like kind of low end corruption stuff. Corey, how much uh, credit should President Trump receive here? Well, clearly he uh, helped Kevin get that that speakership. Look, 15 mm -hmm. ballots was not an easy thing. I think people were getting tired. And what we saw once... <laughs> Corey Lewandowski, who is uh, coming live from a marsh. Uh, he's, he's in the middle of draining the swamp. He's doing a great job so far. It, it's about half done. Once again, was a tireless effort of Donald Trump calling people... Time and again, saying, get the best deal you can, but you have to support Kevin. And it is really because of Donald Trump. Get get the best deal you can, but you have to support Kevin. So, so, it, so eventually come around no matter what. Why, why isn't that a message to the other people on the other side that, fuck it, eventually they'll, Trump told them to. So eventually they'll come around. You don't you, the the best deal they can get is whatever we give them. So fuck them. That's not how it worked out. And Trump told all these people to vote for McCarthy. Let's be clear about this. Trump told Matt Gates, Lauren Boebert, and and fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene was already on board. But fucking Perry, uh, Gozer told them to vote for McCarthy. And from those phone calls forward. Everybody, including the ones who had voted for, for McCarthy before, voted present. Trump, that Kevin McCarthy is the Speaker of the House today. Okay. Yeah. Go. He's, get, he's getting uh, cued. You're back. It's Wake up, Steve. Hey, welcome back. I want to bring in uh, Pedro Gonzalez uh, from Chronicles. Uh, Pedro, you're kind of one of the young uh, intellectual uh, movers and shakers in this movement. Leslie, the thank you so much. The swing of it. Um, what is your, give me your assessment on last week. Give me your assessment on last week. And President Trump, look, he's, he's out. And, uh, next time, could you choose a more boring background? It just, you know, uh, it, it really offsets my like war room, macho lion and American color, crazy thing. That's over. that covers my fireplace up front and saying he supported McCarthy. He whipped for McCarthy. He made crucial uh, calls on Friday night of which he mm -hmm. tweeted out and truthed out and in, in, in his uh, he truthed out uh -huh. is taking ownership of that Corey came on the show last week Corey was not yeah it is giving off it's a passport photo vibes absolutely uh, 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 McCarthy got off saying the exact opposite it's got to be somebody besides McCarthy but I think he's laying out the case uh, and that was on Real America's Voices David Brody's uh, water cooler that precedes uh, worm in the afternoon I think it, it took place yesterday Pedro yeah. what's your assessment yeah. Well, Bannon, thanks for having me. Uh, Lewandowski's wrong is my is my bottom line on this. The fact is, ouch, is that we know that on by the second day. By the way, don't, don't think for a second Pedro Gonzalez is against shoving female reporters, though. He just means about this Trump thing. <laughs> if Lewandowski wasn't wrong then, he's just wrong now. I'm just I'm sure I uh, don't get offended. Don't get upset with with Pedro Gonzalez. Like, I'm sure he likes Steve Bannon thinks it was totally cool when when Lewandowski did that. It's this stuff. Day of voting by the fifth ballot, according to Lauren, uh, Lauren Boebert, if you recall, she took that stand and, and gave that speech where she said that Trump had been calling, these are her words, had been calling members of the 20, telling them to knock it off and vote for Kevin. In other words, Trump was attempting to undermine their leverage because those concessions, all of this stuff was not extracted from Kevin until much later. So I think it's really and none of it was one one thing important changed. to set the, the record straight here. 
So they, they all collapsed. What the House Freedom Caucus did, and specifically what those 20 did, was nothing short of heroic. They effectively created mm. a kind of European style coalition. And this is actually. Uh, Watch it. Watch it. You do realize you're talking to Steve Bannon and you're 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 arguing that the U.S. House of Representatives should operate more like a, U a European parliament. Really now? Really? Uh, the, the brainchild of Ed Corrigan, um, th that basically there are three parties now in effect. The Dem yes, y y yes. Please tell me more about unity. There are three parties. Democratic Party, the Republican mm -hmm. Party, and the Freedom Caucus. They, it's a split. That's, please, please take this into 2024. Please let this, let, let, let it fly. Let it fly, this stupid idea. And that is really, really important. And that's also why it's so important to set the record straight here. Mm. You can go back, you can check Trump's uh, Truth Social, you can listen to the statement by Lauren Boeber and others, and you can see very clearly that Trump was essentially just trying to pressure the 20 to stand down and vote for Kevin before those concessions can be extracted. Go back and watch the interviews that Matt Gates did with Laura Ingram. Ingram tries to browbeat Gates basically into conceding that he's wrong. This is kind of amazing, by the way, that this is happening. This is this is on War Room. This is this is how the hardcore MAGA world is handling McCarthy getting control of this and Trump's play on it. Yeah, for real. This is the this is the conversations that they're having. Wrong, and that he just needs to get this done by asking him, do you disagree with Trump? And then finally, Matt Gates says, you know, I love Trump, but I think he's wrong on this. And then Laura kind of smugly, thinking that she's got him in a trap, says, oh, okay, so you disagree with Trump. Kind of like, how dare you? Go back and watch Hannity and, and how unforgivable his interview was with Lauren mm -hmm. Bover. I think this is really important too, uh, to, to hold the people on Fox News, with the notable exception of Tucker Carlson, who actually did a good job on this. But him Oh yeah, T.I. I wonder why he, he he wants to hold out for more chaos. Huh. It's almost like Tucker Carlson wants our entire government to fail, to prove a point to a foreign power. He was terrible. I think he was the worst. He did the same thing. He tried to kind of shame Lauren uh, Boebert in, into seeming as if that what? not only was she a radical, no. that it was making just unrealistic demands. Oh. She was defying an order she? from Trump to just vote for Kevin. I think it's really important to set the record straight here because, again, mm. what these 20 did was heroic and they deserve mm. all- Heroes. Heroes. They're all to the man or woman or person. I don't know what Gosar is, really. I, Honest to God, I he reminds me of uh, Vincent D'Onofrio in Men in Black. Um, I, I'm looking for a cat. It's a precious cat. It's a very important. I had it since it was a kitten. Um, sugar in water. Um, that's my Paul Gosar in person. All of the credit because they were up against the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. It, it's really mm. incredible. And uh, two things that I, I haven't heard mentioned so far from the news clip uh, and, and from others on the show is that part of the, the, the rules package uh, that, are, that is really, really good is that the House now requires a supermajority to raise taxes and Republicans are also including. Which, by the way, I call the California rule. Because California has a similar rule. It's one of the reasons why they have such a hard time raising taxes in California when they do it. And when they do it, they, they fucking sell the barn. And it's, it is literally because you need 60 uh, votes to do it. Have a, a super majority in there. Um, and by the way, <coughs> there is a super majority with just the conservative Republicans and the House Democrats or rather the 20, also got the inclusion of what's called the Holman Rule. So the Holman Rule allows spending bills to be used to defund specific programs, to fire federal officials, and to also reduce their pay. Yeah, but they still have to pass the Senate. This stuff is not as sexy as, say, a Benghazi in, uh, you know, investigation with trade. You mean, uh, well, they uh, they will go nowhere like the Benghazi. So they're ba basically, they... They both end the same way. So, you know, they have those in, in common. Gaudi thundering about how they're going to get to the bottom of stuff and never to actually. They did. They spent almost their entire time at the bottom. Does And it's just used to fundraise and grift on, on the hopes and anxieties of Republican voters. 
<laughs> yes, unlike all these things that are in bills that will go nowhere. But the rules package that the 20 put together with the, the rest of the uh, House Freedom Caucus, this... Um, no, the rest of it was already in there. This stuff is really important. These guys... It was already agreed on. The only thing was the motion to vacate. It's got more done in a week than the Republican Party got done with a trifecta, control of the House, the Senate, and the White House between 2017 and uh, it ended in 2019. These... <laughs> All right. Um, I got news for you. Um, it's not going to last, kiddo. And uh, you're going to have another example of it ending sooner than you thought. And they didn't get shit done. The, passing their rules package only lasts as long as they have control of the house. It, these aren't permanent changes, you dumbass. These guys got more done. No, in no, a they, week. They, 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 they got more. They got more done in five days yeah. than even the Gingrich Revolution. And quite frankly, if you look at yes. the. All right, again. Yeah. By the way, Republicans uh, that served before them, fuck you. You were always garbage. They never cared about you. You're worthless. They, you know, Reagan who? These these twenty, well seven who voted present are, are the last holdouts. They are the true founding fathers of the new American two years of the house. The English Revolution, a lot of that stuff was just poll tested by Luntz and the, and the key things they never got to, like term limits and all that. They're going to bring term limits. There was more comp. Yeah, they're not going to pass term limits, dumb fuck. Who cares if they bring it up? We should have a vote on this. Okay. Accomplish in five days. Then, and yes. remember, the whole theory of the case, we had to take out the cartel head and then negotiate with somebody else. Use your leverage. And we were, the story will eventually come out. And by the way, the idea that the like rank and file Republicans are a cartel is something this dickhead has been dragging on for a while. I, it's just gibberish. But I, I mean, I don't mind. Fucking shit on your own party all you want how close we actually were on Friday night to make it if they had delayed until Monday if they had if that in that in that unforgiving moment when McHenry stepped up there if that had been delayed till Monday I don't believe and I know they know it Kevin McCarthy would not have been speaker a couple of people have been peeled off they were lost momentum the media have been beating him up even even the conservative ink couldn't support it anymore it would have been it would have been uh, historic um, and yet you lost and the, the point he's making is the reason you lost is because Donald Trump forced it. Donald Trump used what leverage he has with the House Republicans to force McCarthy into the speaker's chair for no particular fucking reason. Pedro, how do people get to you? You're, you're pretty. No, I don't. I don't care. I, I again, he ends all these things with, I, by the way, he does a better job than Steph does when I'm on her show. Just saying, should always kind of help people boost their shit. But I don't need to watch that. I'm just saying, ugh, for fuck's sake.